This is the time for Caught My Eye, where we ask our contributors what was important or interesting to them this week. We're going to start with Roger. Well, thanks. What caught my eye is something I think caught a lot of eyes, which was the spread of the coronavirus. Mm. It was described as a mysterious virus in China. First case is shown here. They've been forced to shut down some of the major cities. And what's important about this is, one, hit the market. But more importantly, what does it really say about China for the next 10, 15, 20 years, right? They've got an aging population. There's a real risk that they'll get old before they get rich on a per capita basis. Concerns about the environment, concerns about animal health, now concerns about human health. A very complicated story in China. Coronavirus just simply reminds us of the challenges as well as the opportunities for that really big country. Yeah, it raises some investment questions. And there are investment very questions very as well big. about Wells Fargo today. <laughs> What I was struck by with all this discussion of corporate accountability was uh, John Stumpf, the former mm. CEO of Wells Fargo, made what I'm sure was the best deal he could get, and that deal was being banned from the banking industry for life and paying a fine of $17.5 million. Wow. And it points up what CEOs don't actually talk about, but is really a crucial question for our society which is when corporations do wrong, what do you do? Do you hold the CEO accountable? Yeah. Do you hold the board accountable? Do you fine the company? Do you indict the company? After Enron, after the shenanigans at GE, the problems that uh, Boeing uh, is having, the things that went on in the financial industry before and during uh, the crisis, how we deal with corporate wrongdoing is a crucial question in terms of having responsible corporations that I think is going to be much discussed and debated in the years ahead.